Hey, what's up guys, it's Nick, back with another quick iPhone update tip that could totally save your day. So yeah, iOS 18.5 is officially out, and in this one, I'll walk you through what's new, and show you two better ways to upgrade, especially if your iPhone's low on storage or acting up. Alright, in this new version, you'll now get a screen time alert when your kid enters the passcode. And there's a new animated wallpaper. A fresh tweak to back tap, now it shows a banner when triggered. Plus, satellite connectivity is now supported on all iPhone 13 models. Also, iOS 18.5 fixes a bunch of annoying bugs, like CarPlay connection issues and that weird charging notification bug. So yeah, definitely worth updating. Normally we can update straight from your iPhone. Just head to General and Settings, then Software Update, and tap Update will be okay. But here's the thing which many of us has encountered, the update is about 7 to 8 gigabytes, so if you're running low on storage or the update keeps freezing, it's better to do it using a computer. Just plug your iPhone into your PC or Mac, open iTunes or Finder and update from there. This will not take up your storage but you still need a few free space to run the new system. And if your phone's buggy or stuck during update you can put it into recovery mode. Just click volume up then down and hold the power button until you see a computer screen. Then run the update from your computer to get things back on track. So yeah, whether you're updating right on your phone or using your computer for a smoother experience, you can get iOS 18.5 today without any trouble. If this helped, make sure to give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!